Piping mechanical equipments. Pumps. A pump is a device that moves fluids, liquids or gases, or sometimes slurries, by mechanical action. Positive displacement pumps. Operates by alternating of filling a cavity and then displacing a given volume of liquid. Reciprocating pumps, piston, plunger and diaphragm. Rotary pumps, gear, lobe, screw, vane. Rotodynamic pump. Centrifugal pumps. Centrifugal pumps. Centrifugal pump. Centrifugal pumps are used to transport fluids by the conversion of rotational kinetic energy to the hydrodynamic energy of the fluid flow. The rotational energy typically comes from an engine or electric motor. High discharge low pressure pumps. Compressors. A gas compressor is a mechanical device that increases the pressure of a gas by reducing its volume. An air compressor is a specific type of gas compressor. Compressors are similar to pumps, both increase the pressure on a fluid and both can transport the fluid through a pipe. As gases are compressible, the compressor also Reduces the volume of a gas. Liquids are relatively incompressible, while some can be compressed. The main action of a pump is to pressurize and transport liquids. Pressure vessels. A pressure vessel is a closed container designed to hold gases or liquids at a pressure substantially different from the ambient pressure. Storage tanks. Storage tanks are containers that hold liquids. Compressed gases, gas tank, or mediums used for the short or long-term storage. Storage tanks are available in many shapes vertical and horizontal, cylindrical, open top and closed top. Boilers. A boiler is a closed vessel in which water or other fluid is heated. The heated or vaporized fluid exits the boiler for use in various processes or heating applications, including central heating boiler-based power generation etc. The source of heat for a boiler is combustion of any of several fuels such as wood, coal, oil, or natural gas. Electric steam boilers use resistance or immersion type heating elements. Nuclear fission is also used as a heat source. Furnace. A furnace is a device used for heating. Industrial furnace used for many things, such as the extraction of metal from ore, smelting, or in oil refineries and other chemical plants, for example as the heat source for fractional distillation columns. The heat energy to fuel a furnace may be supplied directly by Fuel combustion, by electricity such as the electric arc furnace, or through induction. Heating in induction furnaces. Reactors. Reactors are used to mix two or more types of substances or shorten the reaction time and stabilize composition by increasing contact. Density between substances in floating granules. Solution and chemical reaction. Heat exchanger. A heat exchanger is a piece of equipment built 
for efficient heat transfer from one medium to another. The media may be separated by a solid wall to prevent mixing or they may be in direct contact. They are widely used in refrigeration, air conditioning, power plants, chemical plant, petrochemical plants, petroleum refineries, natural gas processing, and sewage treatment. Types of heat exchangers Shell and tube heat exchanger Shell and tube heat exchangers are comprised of multiple tubes through which liquid flows. The tubes are divided into two sets. The first set contains the liquid to be heated or cooled. The second set contains the liquid responsible for triggering the heat exchange, and either removes heat from the first set of tubes by absorbing and transmitting heat away, in essence, cooling the liquid, or warms the set by transmitting its own heat to the liquid inside. When designing this type of exchanger, care must be taken in determining the correct tube wall thickness as well as tube diameter to allow optimum heat exchange. Plate heat exchangers Plate heat exchangers consist of thin plates joined together with a small amount of space between each plate, typically maintained by a small rubber gasket. The surface area is large, and the corners of each rectangular plate feature an opening through which fluid can flow between plates, extracting heat from the plates as it flows. The fluid channels themselves alternate hot and cold fluids, meaning that heat exchangers can effectively cool as well as heat fluid. They are often used in refrigeration applications. Because plate heat exchangers have such a large surface area, they are often more effective than shell and tube heat exchangers. Plate heat exchangers Plate heat exchangers consist of thin plates joined together with a small amount of space between each plate, typically maintained by a small rubber gasket. The surface area is large, and the corners of each rectangular plate feature an opening through which fluid can flow between plates, extracting heat from the plates as it flows. The fluid channels themselves alternate hot and cold fluids, meaning that heat exchangers can effectively cool as well as heat fluid. They are often used in refrigeration applications. Because plate heat exchangers have such a large surface area, they are often more effective than shell and tube heat exchangers. Surface condenser A surface condenser is a commonly used term for a water-cooled shell and tube heat exchanger installed on the exhaust steam from a steam turbine in thermal power stations. These condensers are heat exchangers which convert steam from its gaseous to its liquid state at a pressure below atmospheric pressure, where cooling water is in short supply. An air-cooled condenser is often used. An air-cooled condenser is significantly more Expensive and cannot achieve as low a steam turbine. Exhaust pressure as a water-cooled surface condenser. Fractional distillation tower. Distillation is a method of separating mixtures based on differences in volatility of components in a boiling liquid mixture. Fractional Distillation is the separation of a mixture into its component parts or fractions, such as in separating chemical compounds by their boiling point by heating them to a temperature at which one or more fractions of the compound will vaporize.
Fluid Catalyst Cracking Unit, FCCU. Fluid Catalytic Cracking, FCC, is one of the most important conversion processes used in petroleum refineries. It is widely used to convert the high boiling, high molecular weight hydrocarbon fractions of petroleum crude oils to more valuable gasoline, olefic gases, and other products. Cracking of petroleum hydrocarbons was originally done by thermal cracking, which has been almost completely replaced by catalytic cracking because it produces more gasoline with a higher octane rating. It also produces byproduct gases that are more olefic and hence more valuable than those produced by thermal cracking. The FCC process vaporizes and breaks the long chain molecules of the high boiling hydrocarbon liquids into much shorter molecules. By contacting the feedstock at high temperature and moderate pressure with a fluidized powdered catalyst flare. A gas flare, alternatively known as a flare stack, is a gas combustion device used in industrial plants such as petroleum refineries, chemical plants, natural gas processing plants as well as at oil or gas production sites having oil wells, gas wells, offshore oil and gas rigs. In industrial plants, flare stacks are primarily used for burning off flammable gas released by pressure. Relief valves during unplanned overpressuring of plant equipment. They safely burn excess hydrocarbon gases which cannot be recovered or recycled. Excess hydrocarbon gases are burnt in the flare systems in an environmentally sound manner. As an alternative to releasing the vapor directly into the atmosphere. During flaring, excess gases are combined with steam and forward slash or air. And burnt off in the flare system to produce water vapor and carbon dioxide.